This is the plaintiff, Beth Ann Hurd. She says the defendant is her former money-hungry landlord, and he refuses to return her security deposit and has no right keeping it. She can't believe the guy's making her take him to court, but she'll fight for her money and thinks the judge will side with her when she hears the details. She's suing for $866.67, the amount she's still owed. This is the defendant, Guarov Balian. He says the plaintiff left the place in deplorable condition. There was fungus growing in the refrigerator and blood on the walls behind the toilet. If anyone's owed money here today, it's him. And when the judge sees his evidence, he will be the one walking out of here the victor. He's accused of withholding money. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $2,360 for unpaid rent, labor, and lost wages. All parties, please just ready. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff says her landlord is money hungry and robbed her of his security. But the defendant says the plaintiff was a pig and left the place a sty, even blood behind the toilet. It's the case of the untidy bowl woman. Thank you, Douglas. Beth Ann Hurd, you are suing your former landlord, Gaurav Balian, yes. for $866.67, a remainder of a security deposit that you feel he is uh, unlawfully withholding. Tell me what happened. Well, when I moved out, um, we had a 30-day lease. On the lease, it was 30 days um, that he would have to respond back to me, and I also had 30 days Wait, okay. that I owed him. Right, so hold on one second. Did you, were you on a month-to-month -month or on we a... We were on a month-to-month -month at that point. It was an extension of the prior lease, though. Okay, and so when do you tell him, hey, I found another place? On September 21st, so the 30 that days... What? That I was moving out, and I would be out by the end of that month. Um, October, October 14th. The October then 14th. You would be out by the end of October? No, by the October 14th, because my month... my rent month went from the 15th to the 14th, ah, so it was a little different. Ah, okay, so, so the 21st of <laughs> September, you tell them this is the date, I, I'm, I'm leaving next month, so the 15th of August will be my last day, but you're supposed to give tw 30 days notice, so how can that possibly be your last? So that's, I wouldn't have had an issue if it was just those seven days, so the 30 day window. No, I don't know what you're talking about. That's not how it <laughs> so, works. If you miss a 30 day window, you go to the very first, first of the month or 15th of the month, that comes after you count 30 days. It's not the way you're saying, ah, charge me another seven days. That's not how it works because it's hard to rent a place starting on the 21st of a month. Most people won't rent a place on the 21st of a month. You see what I'm saying? But in any event, you don't know the law and you didn't realize that. And if you did, you probably wouldn't be in court today. So what is it that ends up? Because he let that ride until you sued him and now he's counterclaiming against mm -hmm. you for it. So talk to me and tell me what you feel he did wrong. He kept how much of your um, security deposit? He kept um, $1,276.25. If your entire security deposit is $2,625, what is it that you feel you should get back? $867.92. Okay. Do you feel like you left the place clean? Yes. In fact, I, I had to ask him to come and do a walkthrough to make sure everything was set. And I also had, he had a real estate agent come and do the walkthrough right after him. And she had mentioned, obviously, it, I don't have her with me. But she couldn't believe how clean it was at the time she made that comment. Did you have, do you have a letter from her or anything? No, I didn't. All right, I, so I, I can don't. you tell me how she damaged the place? Because according to you, you're keeping some money because the place was filthy. It was, actually. And I have pictures. Okay. Okay. So these are pictures of the holes in a wall that she spackled. But she spackled. She didn't, she didn't uh, sand it or anything. So now... That's actually about four different rooms, pretty much the entire house. And if you look one of the pictures, it's all like, uh, you can see how many there are. Yeah. So somebody has to paint over that. Do you have the paint? No, I don't. Now, what's that? Those are all holes? Yes. What are you, a machine gun? You can't no, hang a painting without my, the... My daughter um, thought it, she had a fabric up there and she used push pins when I wasn't oh, I gotcha. home. So, I mean, it was push pins though. They weren't, yeah. and I spackled them just trying to make sure they would be covered. Right. And that way it'd be easier to right. paint Right, because over. you assume that he has to paint the place yes. after, how long had you lived there? Almost two, A little over two years. Right. I don't know that that's a fair assumption necessarily. She did more than a lot of tenants do. Oh, what happened there? That That's when you're moving furniture out? I can't even see it. Well, why don't well. you step over to the picture so you can see it, because I can see it. It must have been... 
It's the only explanation I yeah, can I see guess. who it is. All right, you, you know, can go ahead and go back. Probably like those grease sponges. All right, and um, other than that, was there any damage? No. Uh, well, you were complaining about the cleanliness. Do you have pictures of that? I Unfortunately, I have only one. Okay, can um, I have it? Because I don't think I have it here. Okay, that's it? That's your, your explanation for how much did you withdraw from her security deposit for cleaning? Well, 200 for the carpet and 130 about for the refrigerator and the bathrooms because the refrigerator actually had mold in it. Okay, but I don't have both these things wipe off, right? But you're... you're you know, the mold, I had to... May I see proof that you had to pay somebody $130 for I cleaning? I didn't bring that, no. You don't have that. No. You know you're being sued, right? No, like, I, I know. Today was the day to have it, right? All right, so $130, and then you say the carpeting. Can you please bring me proof that you clean the carpets? I didn't bring that either. So you didn't bring that. You didn't bring a receipt for the carpet cleaning. You didn't bring any pictures of a damaged carpet. I didn't actually get a receipt, but okay. I did have a receipt for the uh, $130, which, unfortunately, I don't have it on me. So. Okay. All right, and this is the only picture you have of damage. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. So there's a $2,625 security deposit. You deducted from it $437.25 for rent. A closet door was $75. What's that about? Uh, the closet door in the second ba uh, bedroom was actually damaged. It broke, so it fell off the hinges. Is that accurate? No, I actually opened it when I was there with the real estate agent, and I closed it back for showing, you know, just to make sure they saw it, because I opened when all of them. When you say off the hinges, what do you mean? Uh, the off bottom, the track? Well, no, the bottom part had actually uh, broken off. And you say that didn't... No, not at all. Um, and, and like I said, in fact, I opened it just so I could show that it was clean inside. I did that with all of the closet doors. Okay, and you don't have a picture of that either? I don't, know. Okay. Why would she have to pay to paint the entire place? And why would she have to pay for a gas stove igniter? If the gas stove stopped working, wouldn't that be your job to replace? I thought it was a damage that was caused by her. How so did she damage it? It doesn't work anymore. So she lived there for two years, put holes in the wall to put paintings up and whatever else. Can the landlord spackle, repaint, and charge her? No way, that's normal wear and tear. Is it really normal wear and tear when that happens? It's not. Uh, painting is normal wear and tear, but not holes in the wall is not normal so wear and tear. So can the landlord charge? I, I would say if it is in the contract. More importantly, anybody tell you you kind of look like Miley Cyrus? No, I'm never going to. I swear to God. You, <laughs> Thanks. Sir, you do not look like Liam Hemsworth. Bra Brad Pitt. I'm sorry. Oh, Brad Pitt, going inside the courtroom. How did she damage it? Not does it work. How did she, what does she do to make it not work? She hit it, did she, you know, I mean. I, I can't. Yeah, so. okay. Did you end up changing the color of the paint? No, I did not. What did you paint the house? I haven't yet. Oh, you haven't done anything yet? Not yet. Are you renting it out? I had to move in myself. You're gonna move in yourself? Yeah. Okay. If I may add something. You Ronnie. can. Um, my biggest issue, I think, from, the, from not knowing what I was getting back, I was expecting communication or anything from him I mean, I had to chase him for anything, and that was that was my biggest issue, biggest issue with not knowing, or so I couldn't plan. I was just expecting it all back. Except for here's how it works: the, a landlord would be entitled to the full rental period. That's why it's important to give notice on a full rental period, not a part of a rental period, and then you add some. Mm -hmm. And he was willing to let that go, mm -hmm. which you kind of should have just kind of let it ride. Um, because I'm in a difficult position now. Now I've just got to call the balls and the strikes the way they are. And here are how the balls and the strikes are. I don't think he gets to keep for carpet cleaning. If he can't prove it, he doesn't get to keep for house cleaning uh, over a little stain behind the, the thing. He gets to keep something for the scratch and he gets to keep something for, I mean, you spackled, which was more than I've seen other people do. Uh, but he gets to keep something for touch up paint. Um, you know, not much, but something. But the big one, the big ticket item that is the problem for you is that he, he, he gets to get paid October 15th through November. All right, now, if I allow him to recover and keep from the security deposit the month's rent plus $100 for retouching the paint in the places that it needs retouching, which is all he has proven, you still have a net judgment that you owe him of $575. It's what it is, um, and there's just no way out of it. You owe him another $575, which I'm sure if you had thought it through or gotten any legal advice before you came to court, you probably would have just left it alone. Verdict for the defendant. Net judgment, verdict for the defendant. Thank you. Thank you.
Well, what an interesting situation. The plaintiff comes into court suing for $866 and ends up, it's costing you 500 and some dollars to file the case. It's a tough one. It would have been order. better for you not to do anything, right? Exactly. You it's understand the judge's decision? Yes. And you yes. know she was working for you. She, <laughs> she wanted was. to help you. Yes. She couldn't. Yeah, exactly. It's very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Sorry for that. You yeah. learned a tough lesson today. Yes, I did. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Here comes the defendant now. I was, did you realize this is what was going to happen in here today or what? I was hoping for it, yeah. Well, you're hoping you're wrong. Would you have gone after her had she not found this lawsuit? Absolutely not. I had given up, and that's why I didn't have any receipts or anything, because I thought she'd understand that and let it go. Yeah. Well, that's very interesting. Thank you very much. You. <laughs> Congratulations. Harvey, great lesson. Ah. Okay, I mean, look, they mentioned normal wear and tear, and it's kind of a, a rough thing. But yes, if a tenant lives in a place for a, a, an extended period of time, say five, six years, and the carpeting is matted, the landlord can charge for carpeting. And even paint after a couple of years, if the landlord wants to repaint it because the walls are faded. But when you put holes in the wall, you have to pay in the end.